Hi, my name is Linda Kanner and I'm a, a licensed clinical social worker at Jewish Family and Children's Service in Princeton. I'm going to share some information today on meditation. We're, we're hearing so much about it lately, uh, but if you can, if you've never tried it, uh, it may feel a bit mysterious. And so this is sort of a little primer on how to get started with some uh, easy meditations. <clears throat> Meditation is an ancient tradition, but it's still practiced in cultures all over the world, and it helps us to create a sense of calm and inner harmony. Although the practice does have some ties to different religious teachings, meditation is less about faith and more about finding awareness and achieving peace. There is a great deal of evidence supporting the many benefits of meditation. It can help you lower your blood pressure, reduce anxiety, decrease pain, ease symptoms of depression, and improve sleep. With the greater need to reduce our stress in the midst of this pandemic, meditation is definitely increasing in popularity. So there's no right or wrong way to meditate. It's important to find a practice that meets your needs and complements your personality. <laughs> There are many different types of meditation practices. Mindfulness meditation, which originates from Buddhist teachings, seems to be one of the most popular meditation techniques that we see in the West. I'm going to review this type of meditation as well as some of the other popular forms and then share a simple beginner meditation video that can help you to get started. So mindfulness meditation, <clears throat> in, in that you share, you share your thoughts as they pass through your mind. You don't judge the thoughts or become involved with them. You simply observe and take note of any patterns. The pra this practice combines concentration with awareness. Nearly every task we perform in a day, be it brushing our teeth, eating lunch, eat, talking with friends or exercise, can be done more mindfully. When we are mindful of our actions, we pay more attention to what we are doing. It's the opposite of going through the motions. Instead, you are tuned into your senses and noticing your thoughts and emotions. Think about when you're washing dishes, for example. You, you can actually focus on the feeling of the soap and the weight of the dish and the temperature of the water. Really focus in on what you're doing. You, some people also find it helpful to focus on your breath while you observe your thoughts and feelings doing mindfulness. Uh, another meditation is movement meditation which is good for people who find peace in action and prefer to let their minds wander. This practice may include walking through the woods or uh, gardening or other gentle forms of motion. It's an active form of meditation where the movement guides you. Another meditation I like to use with clients is called progressive muscle relaxation. It's also known as body scan meditation. It's a practice aimed at reducing tension in your body and promoting relaxation. It involves slowly tightening and relaxing one muscle group at a time throughout the body. <clears throat> so you might tighten your fists and then relax them with all the different areas of your, of your body. It helps us to get more in touch with our bodies and recognize the tension in our muscles. This form of meditation is often used to reduce stress and unwind before bedtime. And frankly, it's a good way to relax yourself before doing any of the other meditations as well. Um, the next one I'm going to mention is called guided meditation. And these are preferred by some people because they feel they can be more focused on the meditating when someone is guiding them. So a guided meditation is a process by which you meditate in response to the guidance provided by a trained practitioner or teacher, either in person, a recording, a video, with or without music, or a combination of those. There are a ton of guided meditation apps you can download on your phone. 
so they are they are completely portable there's also <clears throat> visualization meditation uh, it's a technique focused on enhancing feelings of relaxation peace and calmness by visualizing positive scenes or images. So I ask clients to remember a scene vividly. You've heard it called your happy place. So if your happy place is the beach, using all of your senses, picture yourself there. Hear the sound of the birds and the surf. Feel your toes in the sand. Feel the warmth of the sun on your skin. Um, really delve into that visualization. <clears throat> so how do you get started with meditation? There's an old Zen saying that says you should sit in meditation for 20 minutes every day unless you're too busy and then you should sit for an hour. Doing meditation for an hour seems overwhelming and even 20 minutes may seem daunting when you're first starting out. The easiest way to begin is to just sit somewhere comfortable and quiet without interruption and focus on your breath. In the video I'm going to share, there's a little stick figure man who will give you some instruction on what to do. When he says to focus on your breathing, and we hear that all the time, it simply means you should listen to the sound of the air coming in through your nose, going out through your mouth. It also means you should note the sensation of your stomach expanding and contracting with each breath. So the next video, this next video is by a gentleman named Martin Borison, and it's called One Moment Meditation. And it is a very simple and cute introduction to doing a brief meditation.
As you open your eyes, notice how you feel right now. Maybe a little bit refreshed, a little bit more awake, a little bit more open-minded. Not bad for a minute. And the more you do it, the better it gets. But please don't ever do the basic minute for longer than a minute. Don't be macho about it. Because the point of the basic minute is to show you that you can make a meaningful change in your state of mind quickly. So if you do it for longer, you're cheating. With one moment's meditation, you can also learn how to do the portable minute, which is very useful when you're standing in line on a train, or stuck in a boring meeting. You can also learn the bonus minute, the surprise minute, and the emergency minute. With one moment's meditation, you can also learn how to reduce the length of the basic minute step by step until it only takes a moment. And when you can meditate in a moment, your whole day can be filled with meditation because it takes no time at all. If you would like more information on this, there are many websites devoted to meditation practice. And if you feel that meditating has not been helpful in dealing with your stress and anxiety, and you feel that you need more individualized attention, please feel free to call Jewish Family and Children's Service to schedule an appointment with a licensed clinician. You can call us at 609-987-8100 and ask to make an appointment with someone. Thank you very much.